Oh, concentration 84. Wait. Okay, I guess it would be good with my casters, but it's good for her too. Dang, I kind of wanted to ask her about that other person. I can do that. No. Oh. No, we're not going to pick that. I had to spend money to handle that the way that we handled it. Now I'm broke. Being a hero is expensive. What are we doing? Oh man. Pretty soon. Okay, what is this? Where's Lord 4? Alright, well, we might have to do that other quest sooner than I wanted to. Scrolls. Potion of iron skin. You definitely keep this. We'll put this here. See if she sells anything. Greetings. Alright, goodbye. Wait, 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 what was the last one? Hail, traveler. Here for some quiet time, tell me about this place. Oh, I want to order refreshments. Okay. This is what I wanted. Okay. Dang, that made me super poor. But luckily, I'm really smart. That helps. Okay, let's give this back to him. I think I might want to make that delivery. A feeling that has to do with money. Life of a places to see. Indeed, though after five years, I'll be ready for a break. It is true. You have been at it far longer than I. Where will you go next when you have all the world to choose from? Home, of course. Well met, friend. You have the medallion. Tristan's eyes are as wide as round in the artifacts and you've given people a gift we could possibly repay you. I'll do my best. Uh, the, I'll do the best I can, though. He shoves a bag of coins in your hand. It's everything I have. Take it, please. Lost an item. Seeing stolen Gwithin medallion. All right, um, I'll say thank you. 
Always been an honored guest among the shattering spear. Farewell. He hurries out of the inn, his fancy clothes dragging on the ground. Okay, well, I got half my coffer back. That's not bad. Whistling read. The quest expires in three days. Not seeing this whistling reed. All cost. Copper lane. Found found this Aaron person. Builder package to Gareth and Copper Lane. Okay, well, hold up. Let's try upstairs here, just because I'm curious. This Aaron fellow is upstairs. Pirates, nobles, kill us, sir. Silence surrounds me. Make a report. The whistling reed has been added. Rewards 25 experience, red weave, 500 to 1000 copper in the treasury, average item, sign. Um, good luck, buddy. No idea what that's about, but Okay. This is in a day in twenty two. Good. I have time to well, eight hundred is for the cheap stuff. So I'll probably throw up another wall. Build the walls, make it defensible. Have most everything else I need. All right, let's deliver this stuff. Well, I want to talk to him real quick. Oh. Okay. I'm wondering if the place I'm looking for is on Heritage Hill. That would make sense, right? Heritage Hill would be the place where you check your heritage. Oh my god. So, that one quest, most likely on that hill. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for me. Okay, goose and Fox. To the Goose and Fox. Well, my friend. Um, man behind the bar is nearly the size of almost a handle. A handle protrudes from his back, and his face is a stoic frown. He gives a small nod here for a drink. There's a tiny pewter cup in front of him. He turns it 
one broad hand, but doesn't drink from it. This is a lively place. It's founded in the early days of Deerwood, Independence, by a traveler scholar named Earl of Levy. He wanted a place with kith of all backgrounds could gather and hash out the issues facing their new country. He rests his elbow on the polished wood bar. It didn't take long for the place to fill up. Breckenbury aristocrats argued with the dock workers from the gift, while soldiers wrangled with politicians. Deerwood have never been known to turn down an argument. He takes a sip from his tiny cup. I can imagine things got interesting. Soon kits were coming from the farms and settlements too. He waved at the door as if expecting a crowd to bustle in. This place got even more popular with the valent sailors and the salty mist mast, and that was the problem. He drains the cup. No matter what people say about fair mindedness and civil debate, there's only so much people will tolerate. Errol found himself on the wrong side of an argument, with the wrong Thane. When he disappeared for a few days, some said it was the work of that Thane. He shrugged, spreading his hands over the bar as he surveys the room. But Errol knew which way the wind was blowing. If you ask me, he skipped town. He hid out somewhere, hoping for rational minds to prevail in Defiance Bay. Correct again, if only he could see it now. Alright, well, let's... who am I supposed to deliver this crap to? Oh, Gareth. Hold on, hold on. Before we talk to Gareth, Errol here. Miserable bastard. What? A woman sits by herself, spinning something on the table in front of her, watching it with fierce intensity. It's about the size of a coin, and it wobbles over a crack in the wood with a metallic rattle. She snatches it up with one hand and slams half empty cup down on the table with the other. It's not a good time. What are you doing? She takes a long drink from her glass, just trying to calm down and trying to talk myself out of something foolish. Something foolish? She says nothing for a few moments, as if hoping you'll leave. At last, Kenra looks up at you, and a lamplight falls across her face. A purple bruise is blossoming along her cheek. There's something I need to give to my fiancé, Pernis, only he doesn't seem to go anywhere without his new friends. They're not exactly pleasant company. Tell me about these new friends. They come into our house with their dead eyes and their black teeth. I'm not a fool. I know what it means. Persnack makes me leave when they show up, but it's obvious what they come to do. Last time they came, I told them to get out. Let them have their fun somewhere in the gift, but not under my roof. She scowls and winces, fingertips gently probing her bruise. Uh, Sev changes, changes you, I guess. The Pernisk I knew would have squashed a spider. I never... Th wouldn't have squashed the spider. I never thought he'd... She tread off, still feeling swollen, discolored flesh. I thought Sves made people lay around not doing much. I don't really know. Seems better than believing. He's always been this way. Maybe I could go talk to him. Her hands rest on the table, and she clenches it into a white knuckle. There's nothing more to say to him. We're finished. I just want to give this back to him and have a clean break. She opens her hand and a ring clatters onto the table. It was my grandmother's. Even after this, I don't have the heart to sell it off. But if I go back there, I know what'll happen. I'll lose my temper and I'll probably wind up with another one of these. She points to her bruise. Okay. I'll take this ring to Persnick then. She looks at you and nods. I was just north of here. She says, please, don't hurt him. As fierce as I am, I don't want him on that on my conscience. Look, yo. I can't control what he does. But I will be good. Oh yeah. I can do that. The chest here. As requested. Oh no, this is gonna fall. Part of Tender's ring. Spirit Bane, Vessel Bane. Oh well. Hmm. Accidentally just fell right into my hand. Hate to see it. Red first. Actors, merchants. The Dwarven Orland debate philosophy on the other side of the curtain. Okay. We're gonna go upstairs real quick because we're still looking for this Aaron guy.
He's wanted, and I need to know why he's wanted. Pages of these old book are crisp and fragrant with the salt of the sea breeze. What's this called? The scene. Leo watches Burnett approach, maybe a tree looking for her form. That's another play. That I now own. Man skulks near the bar. He seems like he's trying to blend in with the wood paneling and he watches the other patrons out of the corner of the eye. He gives you a quick nod as you approach. Federer has a delivery for you. He glances around and snatches the pouch from him. Keep your voice down, will you? Dom and Sal have spies everywhere. He tucks the pouch away. He tells Venner's Rosano that this is the last time I'm buying from him. This is getting dangerous for me. Uh, did I just do something illegal? Um, no, he grins weakly. I don't think I've heard of the Dominels. Or more important, more important thing is making sure they don't hear of you. They're old Brackenberry stock, but these days the Dominels are known for their business activities, most of which involve some degree of bribery, extortion, theft, or murder. What do the Dominels have to do with this? You have no idea, do you? Let's just say the Dominels have uh, exclusive rights to trade certain merchandise within the city. Rosanna likes to make some extra coin from time to time by dealing in the same merchandise, undercutting the competition, he says. Tell me what was in the pouch. Their squash seeds. They interrupt pregnancy. Even though they're not exactly legal, many folks nowadays prefer them to have than to risk of holoborn or celibacy. He pulls a wry frown. You done? Yeah, we're done. Get out of here. Oh, shit. We're about to get in a fight. Oh, yeah, dude. Durance's healing is the reason he's still in my party. Woman swaggers in, her polished boots whacking the floor with slow, deliberate steps. A crooked sneer warps her smooth face. Gareth, I'm hurt. You promised to buy only for me. What's a girl to think? Gareth bows, his knees knocking together. Please, my lady, I was just explaining that I do do business with anyone else. Except this last time, right? Then across his arm, rocks backs on her heels. There's always one more deal until you run out of credit, that is. Dana turns and regards you looking you up and down, and just who are you? You don't exactly look like a sea dealer. Just making a delivery. Rosanna put you up to this, didn't he? Old fool on singing ship, and he's determined to drag anyone who gets close enough down with him. She eyes the trembling Gareth. Gareth, you're new better, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, in fact. I'll give you a chance to get even with the imbecile. Who knows who's been playing us both? She narrows. What do you say, killing Rosano? Uh, I won't do it. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? He used you to do his dirty work and without telling you anything about what you were carrying or who you were crossing. She taps the finger on her jaw and her voice slows. Of course, I'd also consider it a personal favor. House Dormelm is never stingy with its friends. She glances at Gareth. The loyal ones, anyways. Mm. I don't think I'll do it. Yeah, I won't do it. She flicks a glove at your... And scurry back to Verzano and get your pay while you still can. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Mm. I don't like being threatened. But I won't commit murder. Openly. Nah, my character won't commit murder. Sounds like she's looking for a fight, though. 
Okay. Um, I feel like we need to go back and tell him what's up. Well, we need to get our pay anyways. Okay, should we do it for his Nick? Yeah, let's do this first. And then we'll go get our pay. Attic, 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 mercenary, mercenary. Mercenary, mercenary, more attics. Hello. This man before you flashes you a toothy and rather unpleasant grin. Well now, new face, welcome friend. Name's Sportsnick, and this, he gestures the room around you, is my humble abode and place of business. And I do hope you're in here to do some business, he glances at the nearby guards. Uh, seems like a lot of guards for one man. You must be popular. Prisoner grazes a brow. Sure, right. Very perceptive. This business attracts some less pleasant types. Sometimes the clientele get a little pushy. And every so often, someone even turns out to be snooping into things they shouldn't. And lessons have to be taught. His face shivers with a quick, unreadable unre emotion. I'm sure you're too smart to get wrapped up in all of that, of course. I like, keep it simple. If you don't... If you have coin, I have Steph. You're free to make use of the uh, premises, so as long as you do not do anything stupid, you don't get tangled up with the other customers. Now, person has collapsed his hands together. Where can I get you? Um, Kenry asked me to give you this. Person takes a ring and turns it around his finger. Nice. What's this for? Don't recognize the wedding band you gave Kenra? Prisnik laughs. Oh yeah, I see now. She's making a statement, is she? Good rinse to her, then. Sorry I ever spent the coin to begin with. Now, is that all? Uh, she seemed to care for you. Why are you doing this? Plenty of stars in the sky. Tell her to go set up the salty mass if she's feeling lonely. Me and her are done. He's kind of a jerk. I'm just going to say, how dare you hit your own fiance? How can you live with yourself? She was asking for it. Person growls. Sort of like you, right now. Maybe you ought to quit digging around in affairs that don't concern you. Me? I've got business to take care of. Pants. Doors that way. Something's not right here, and I don't plan on leaving until I find out what's going on. Person eyes narrow. You won't be leaving at all, my friend. I was tired of worrying. This face anyway, it's, he's raised a voice. Guards, to me! Oh. Brave Shit just got real. Following your lead. Oh man. We are not in a good way what? for a fight right now, but... Fight we will have. Okay, cast that. Mm -hmm. Uh, take this guard over. Hey there. Yes. Ready, watcher. Actually, can you move in? You attack this mercenary. Uh okay, cool. While she did that move, go ahead and hit him. Might be a fight I need to rest for. Mm -hmm. Stop! Staggering back, holding a bloody hand in front of him. I give up. Just leave, and I'll go peacefully. All right. Too late. Hey there. Honestly, too late. Okay. Mm. Seems you're not able to okay. Ready, watcher. Who are you attacking? Yeah, keep attacking him. 
Oh. You attack him. What? You heal yourself. No, no, no. no. Yeah, you're finishing that spell. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. You want a frenzy against this mercenary? <laughs> Okay. Attack this one. Hmm. You guys worry about your back. Don't Follow worry about these guys. Ready, watcher. Go ahead and mark this mercenary. We'll take it down as quickly as possible. He's holding his own. Man, we're gonna have to find a place to sleep after this. I know she didn't want me to kill him, but like, whoops. Yeah. He didn't really give me an option, did he? Okay. You guys are gonna attack someone inside. Attack this guy. Okay, cool. Ready, watcher. Oh no, doggy. Here, get into this room. Let's see if it's. Yeah, there's some rest. Okay. Near its grimoire. What did we just, like, get ourselves into? Book of Valen Love Sonnet dedicated the first page to my beloved Conrad. Oh my god. Why do I have a feeling he took over the house? Okay. I think I know what's going on. Interesting. Alright. You better run! Just say the word. I'll give it a try, at least. As requested. Someone has peeled labels from the bottles. They're stuffed with dark gunk bulb that gives off a pungent smell. Pots are crusted with shut... Some identical gunk. Okay, hold up, hold up before we go in there. Bunch of addicts laying around. And what does Anything I'm missing? Reveal? I like how in this game humans suck at fighting. Or fellow humans. Quick and quiet. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, the Light of the Dawn, Mortality Play, Part 2. Say the word. Drink this. Oh, it must be in combat to use it. Yeah. Okay. You better run. Ready when you're in you combat. Now use it. Lord knows you need it. Ready, watcher. Mark this dude. You. Oh. Take over this mercenary. Everyone else go. Okay. 
Ready when you are. Actually, now this is a good mercenary to go after. Okay. Yes. Seems like your target exploded. Oh no no no! This target. What? Following your lead. I'm here. Wow, dude, we are tearing these guys apart. So much so they keep exploding on us. And there's money. Not a problem. She's gonna get back and we're gonna be like, oh man, they must have robbed your house too. Their chairs chip cracked as if knocked to the ground and set back in place. It appears as though someone had been rummaging through the uneven rows of books in a hurry. Adrian Dilek. Okay, I'm kind of curious about this one. Reading it. The sun does not set on the Adrian language. Those of us who commune with the proud language are sometimes derivations of it. Populate every corner of Aora. Most of us who speak this wonderful tongue know it as Adrian, but scholars and those obsessed with the correctness often qualify it as modern or contemporary Adrian. This is a contrast the language you and I speak today with Eld Adrian, the old elven language that was spoken in the Adrian Empire back before the pioneer settled the Deerwood built their longships. If Eldred could be considered the mother of living Adrian, the language of Hillspeak could be seen as Adrian's cousin. Hillspeak is faded, fading from common use, but many of the elves, especially the older ones, in the Aiden heartlands still use this dialect. Whether you know it or not, if you can read these words, you can understand Hillspeak. It is almost identical to Adrian, but includes a large vocabulary of archaic words that have fallen out of use in Adrian. When you hear the bards sing old Adrian poems, there are often lines of choruses that sound like melodic nonsense inserted to complete rhymes. These are usually instances of words that are lost from our common language, but still use Hillspeak. While he'll speak is familiar to speaking of so-called modern Adrian, the same cannot be said of our language predecessor. Eld Adrian is a dead language spoken by academics, but not used in any major community. Eld Adrian words are often familiar to Adrian readers, but the words are orth uh, orthography and that has since been abandoned. Unfamiliar accents mark abound. For a few examples, Eld Adrian contains some diphthongs that have no place in the modern Adrian, as well as a few tricky consonant clusters. EA creates an EA sound that sounds like the colloquial salutation heya. All right, well then there's some other things. Okay, interesting. It's kind of fun. Oh. First stick. A man lies bound and bloodied on the floor before you. His face is tapestry of bruises and blood is spattered across several corners of his room. The man cringes and sobs as you approach. Gods, please, no more. I can't take any more. I'm not here to hurt you. The man pauses, gazing up at you. You're not? Oh, praise Bareth. You're not one of those men, are you? He glances nervously behind you. I. He shakes his head. Please, I don't know who you are, but my name is Persnick. This is my house. You have to help me. And who is that downstairs? An imposter, some wizard named Nirid. He came into my house, tied me up in here, and tortured me. Now, now he and his men are eating my food, breaking my things, selling stuff inside my house. He blinks. You just turned up all of a sudden? Persnick looks away, unable to meet your gaze. I may have hung on to a tiny portion of my supply share, but I needed the money. What exactly happened? He sent over the wizard, Nirid, the man downstairs, Persnick added, to make up the lost copper. I guess and to hurt me while he was at it. Feels like it's been days. He's already taken care of. Persnick stares at you. I can't believe this nightmare's finally over, he grins weakly, then seems to remember something. You have no idea what you've done for me, but... He looks up at you 
in a way. I need to find my love, Kenra. Only after whatever near it put her through, I'm afraid she won't give me a chance to explain. But she might listen to you. Please. She must be somewhere in Copperland. It's the only home she's known. Please don't tell her about this stuff. About what I do. I can make it worth your while. A discount, maybe. Uh, Kenra sent me here in the first place. She did? For six miles, Riley. That woman helped save my life without realizing it. Please, bring her back home and I'll tell her everything. Back to normal. I'll go talk to her. Can't thank you enough, truly. Oh, I've missed poor Kenra. Okay. Do-do. Well, that was an unexpected fight. Well, we're there. We'll probably rest. All the junkies left. Do, do, do. You must gather your party before venturing. Tabbed out for a second. My bad. Not a problem. Kenra looks up at you as you approach. What happened with Persnick? Did you give him the ring? Hmm. Persnick was imprisoned by a powerful wizard. However, the real Persnick also deals Seth. She thinks that you stunned. I had no idea. Persnick, he... She brings her fist down on the table, slashing. Damn it. How can I trust him after something like this? That he's lied to me for so long, she runs her hand through her hair and takes a deep breath. I should be glad I found out about this before the wedding. I don't know what to say. He still loves you. Do you really want to give up your future together? Perhaps you're right. If he's willing to give it up, we can work this out. It seems worthwhile to give it a chance. Anyway. Oh, and thank you. Oh, and take this. She unclasps something from her neck. Picked it up from one of the merchants to help me stand firm in my decisions. I'll be fine without... I'll be fine without it now. Unresolve. Okay, unwavering resolve. Nice. Lots of XP. Ah, my tank levels. Yay. Put this on. Intellect plus two. Mm. Let's give it to him. Need some gear. All right. How do you do? Can I get a room? Let's do this. We don't seem to be struggling enough to need more than that right now. Cool. They are getting awfully low on health. Okay. More athletics. So the Flames of Devotion requires allies in the vicinity when the Paladin downs an enemy, providing a temporary bonus to all defenses. 
really need him to take down enemies. Command an ally to summon all their strength in order to temporarily ignore existing hostile effects. The effects will resume once... Okay. Okay, that's another... Aura. Sworn enemy. It marks an enemy as the focus of the paladin's righteous fury, granting accuracy and damage bonus against the target until the combat ends, or the target goes down. Once per encounter. Calls upon the paladin's inner, causing their equipment weapon burst into flames and adding burn damage to their attacks. That seems really good. Plus 20% damage, 15 accuracy against target. This is going to do more. Just damage overall. Let's do this. Two per encounter. <laughs> so he doesn't really take down people. He's just more a defensive thing. But if he can do some more damage, then maybe he will take people down. Yeah. We'll see. I'll have to pay attention who's killing who. Okay, now that's done. Let's head back to the merchant. gift. Hmm. the wrong button. No. Person at the front desk. Hello. Were you able to uh, deliver the package? Yes, but now the Daemonels want you dead. Name was there? Is it his eyes fly open and he tugs at the beard? I was so careful, always following the Varla Vidi. Couldn't have known. Well, well. Is this your last day among the living, Verzano? Verzano wrings his hands. Your timing is impeccable. Tell the Pelagini. The Dominals are after me. Please, you've got to stop them. As if any of this were ever in my hands. The Republic's considered your business worth protecting based on its success. That success depended on cooperation with the locals, like House Dominel. You've lost that. And the favor of the Dukes. Do not interrupt. Even if you get out of this alive, they are done with you. The Dukes have more pressing interest in Defiance Bay than rescuing one merchant who threw himself overboard. Lorenzo falls to his knees and clasps his hands together. Have mercy, Pelagini. I don't stand a chance against the Dominos. He bites his a trembling lip. I brought a failure and shame on myself, but you can't mean to watch your countrymen die like a dog. Vezzano. Vezzano. Why are you wasting your precious breath on me? My orders come through the ambassador and through the ambassador from people you should be honored ever gave a moment's thought to whether you live or die. Wow. You don't seem like the sort to petition the gods to keep him out of hell. So why not cry mercy to the one person in this room with the power to grant it? She turns her attention to you and raises her feathered eyebrow expectantly. 
I intend to protect Rosano. Uh, I intend to protect Rosano from the dominoes. Pelagini drops her gaze and lightly shakes her head from side to side. Moments later, she turns her eyes to the ceiling in amused disbelief. <laughs> Vezzano, you have a saint looking out for you after all. She strides across the room and takes the already nervous Rosanna's head in her feathered hands, a gesture that seems to hover in a dangerous narrow space between caressing and crushing. Just don't come knocking on the embassy door. Understand. Bronzo replies with a rapid, weak series of nods. Pelagina nods back once and gives his face a light slap. Do as you will. He's no longer my concern. Okay. Oh, you guys came in the wrong side. You came in tank side. If you guys would have come in the other way, I'd have an issue. But now, I don't. Dana saunters through the door, flanked by a squad of domino foot soldiers. She lets her gloves hand rest on the hilt of her weapon. A sneer curdles on her face. It seems like I was wrong to overlook uh, your blunder. Rest assured, I never make the same mistake twice. Okay. So, we're all going to go after her. We're going to start that way. I want you what? to position yourself better. I want you oh. to go after the bruiser. I don't think you can overpower this one's mind. What else do we got? Okay, yeah? so he's getting in position. They're about to run in. Ready, watcher. Uh, let's mark her. And have the dog go after her first. Okay. I'm here. Marked. Oh, she's gonna go down quick. Uh, let's keep attacking. Oh, where's that bruiser at? Back here. My dude's still casting. He is. Okay, what? He's in the position. Now that you're in position, go ahead. Start casting this. She's down. I want you to move. Oh, no, no, no. Did I get him? I did. Okay, come back. Kill him. Yeah? Okay, everyone. Attack this dude. This guy's got a lot of health. Okay, so this bruiser is about to switch. Let's take him down. Okay. Good stuff. Plenty of fighting tonight. All right. He wipes the sheen from his forehead and looks around the warehouse with a wide, fearful eyes of haunted animal. I can't thank you enough, Amiko. But this won't stop the domicile for long. I've got to get out of here. And I, get, I recommend that you do too. He hands you a pistol and gives you a bag of coins with a shake of his shaking hands. That's all I have for this ill-fated adventure. Thank you again, and please, look out for yourself. Uh, forgiveness added to the inventory. 100... Or 1,000 copper. And a total of 32... 40 experience and whatever loot comes off these bodies find daggers rapiers find male armor take it all i mean if he's not going to keep this shop can we can we have it I mean, i'll take it sure manage it Ready when you are. Man, we hardly took any damage on that. They're leaving. As requested. The armor. What are you wearing? It's about the same thing. 
I can I'll do. give it a try, at least, as requested. Darn it. Life specimen, do not open. Yeah. Sounds fair. Slow and silent. Okay, I've got two things. What's the litter reads? Uh, in the exome... Exomital Plains, Zoking Lake is renowned for the beautiful flowers that grow along its banks for several weeks after spring. Local farmers harvest the flowers for a spring festival in all of the nearby villages. In the past three years, four people have gone missing during the flower collection. No one has seen the abduction take place. The people in the area have reported hearing high-pitched whistle from within the tall reeds. When the abductions are discovered days later on the shore of the lake, they appear to be happy and smiling, but unaware of the world around them. The blissful victim never recovered from the state, most dying within a few weeks. The philosophers of the monastery near Zokin Lake have advised locals, rulers to seek out help with the problem. After several more abductions took place at Zokin Lake, Alas discovered that a previously unknown beast was behind the attack. A strange ruby red beetle would grab the local and feed on their worst memories. The victims would initially fight back, it would quickly enter a blissful state and drop their resistance. Unfortunately, the beetle would eventually devour all their memories, leaving the mind vacant and broken off from the world. Alath was able to track the beetle to its nest and kill it. The locals were relieved to hear the beetle had been killed, but dismayed to learn the hatching eggs were discovered in the nest. As a parting gift, a philosopher from Zokin Monastery created a wand for Allah from one of the beautiful red reeds that grow along the lake. Very cool. Work, my man. One day, eight hours for this to be complete, and then we can work on something else. We have merchant stalls. Finning, fishing the western thing now. I kind of want to finish the walls first. So I've got the east, west. Oh, I need the western. I have that. Okay, so these are the walls. Okay. Creating the tower will grant a perception bonus when resting in Bright Hall. Okay. That would be cool. Craft Hall. Rebuild the crafting hall and the provides you with weapons and armor merchants as well as dexterity bonus for resting. That's cool. Curio shop trades in oddball curiosities. It allows you to purchase exotic creatures and generate random creature part every turn in the stronghold treasury. Okay. Artificial horror stores novel contraptions. Rebuilding it will allow you to buy traps there and receive mechanic bonus for resting. That'd be cool too. And all these are really cool. So now that we're doing this, I'll do one upgrade down here and then I'll come back to defensive stuff. I'll do like a back and forth thing. Upgrades, hirelings. To miscellaneous. 19 security, 11 prestige. I have no idea how that works out yet. Okay. Well, let's go do what we originally came here to do. Yeah, I'll stay on for a little bit longer. Oh, shit. Domino thugs, you're making quite a name for yourself with the dominoes. Pity that this isn't the kind of impression you should be making. Bras. You picked a fight with the wrong hombres. <laughs> I'm here. All right. Yes. I want you to take over. 
guy in the back. Ready when you are. I need you to come around here. Take this guy. You take this guy. Ready, watcher. Go ahead and mark this one. Turn your sword to fire when you get a chance. What? Do the healing thingy. Ready when you are. Do this. Okay, so I took over this guy. Should give some help here, dude. Oh, okay, it's a single attack. I thought it was more than one attack. Bad. He's getting wrecked. Yes. Okay. He's here. Hey there. Fast punchies. Following your lead. You disengage from this? No, you can't. Crap. I just got him hurt more. Go try to heal him. Yes. See if you can cast fear. That moment where they get on your back line. The worst. Ready, watcher. Try to wound this guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ready when you are. Try to heal him again. Cool. I take down this thug. Mm-hmm. Wait, I think that's the last person alive. It was. Okay, so he took a lot of damage, but yeah. for the most part, not too bad. Man, are they gonna keep throwing people at me? Because that's not a cool. problem. Lost a lot of reputation with them. But I mean, they're the ones that's still fighting me. They want to keep coming. I might visit their house and like try to settle things. Or settle things. They wanted me to murder somebody and I wasn't going to do it. And now here I am, murdering all of them. Oops, this is not where I want to be. First fire. Okay. Um We are headed here. This would be the temple Meerwald spoke of, or what remains of it. Praise the exiled Praise queen. Praise to the oh. exiled queen. May her crown be restored and her justice prevail. Come to pay your respects to the queen that was. A ghost hovers in the middle of the ruin, reciting blessings in prayer. Even as the spirit's form shifts and swirls, it retains the face of an elderly man in the robes that mark wealth and status. It turns to you. Uh, who are you? Lord Ardwellen Rugform III. And pleased to make your acquaintance. I came to the Deerwood on one of the first ships from Adia. And unlike the yokels and hut dwellers around here, I still keep to the old ways. Well, you're dead now, so... I was told to find the Temple of Udike here. And so you did. These savage colonists may have burned it down. But worship of the Oathbinder is alive and well. These stairs lead to the main sanctum. What stairs? These stairs, of course. The sanctum was always below ground, adjacent to the catacombs. So it wasn't destroyed by the fires. The ghost gestures to an impassable pile of rubble. 
Like the rest of the ruin, it seems to have remained untouched for a century. Okay, so it's next to the catacombs, so we're going to probably have to travel through the catacombs. Tell me where I find an entrance to these catacombs. There are various entrances throughout Defiance Bay, but I dare say the easiest to reach is in Copper Lane. I haven't been to that part of town in ages, but as I recall, it's somewhere near the southern gate. You know that you're a ghost, right? I beg your pardon? Is this some sort of joke where you come from? I'm serious. Just look at yourself. Close is an eye. So That's just what this town really needs. There is a sanatorium. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Worshipping Woodica, the exiled queen and oathbinder. I come every day to offer my devotion. I'd love nothing more than to book passage back to Adia. But it is my Emperor's wish that I serve in these barbaric lands. And so I do. I'd like to know more about Wodoka. A queen among the gods. She oversees laws and oaths. Everything has a rightful place. And Wodoka watches over them all. Of course, not everyone accepts this. Even among the other gods, her authority is questioned. But Wudaka is also goddess of memory and vengeance. And she remembers. She'll remember every slight and trespass when she reclaims her throne. Goodbye. Beginning to draws up next to you. You alright? Looks almost like you lost your footing for a minute. Uh... I'm fine. You watch too quiet. You really are a watcher, aren't you? Once in a great many generation, one of my people is born with the ability to speak to souls. Usually such individuals become elders, or a lone set of tracks in the snow. She cocks her head. I would have thought my journey would be easier if I could see what you see, but looking at you, I'm not so sure. My ability my abilities are a blessing. Believe it or not, I once would have rejoiced to know I'd picked to travel far in search of something great. But even these gifts come with a cost, don't they? Forgive me if I was a little skeptical of your ability before. I can't say I've met a real watcher before. Every time he goes a little strange in the face, I try and see if I can hear anything. And grins. It hasn't worked so far. So if you can get him to tell you what the spirit said... Probably see if you can get him to. Okay. Weeds grow thick and troubled by the passage of kith. Blood moth. Margarine's fire casts light in dark places. Okay. Definitely feel like my abilities are a blessing now. Okay, cool. So I think I think this is a good place to take a break. Let's get to the catacombs. And that will be the first thing that we do when I play tomorrow. Which I'm pretty sure I'll play tomorrow. Alright, cool. I'm gonna save here. Ooh, we got a good couple hours in. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone, for stopping by. Um, Sergeant Nugget, thanks for stopping by. Nightmaker, thanks for stopping by and saying hello. Shadow and Dagroth, you too as well. I will probably be on at my regular time tomorrow, maybe a little bit earlier. I don't think I have anything pending tomorrow. Oh, no, no, no. I do have something pending. So I'll probably be on around 7 or 8 p.m. I forgot I had that thing tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, once I get on, I will immediately start playing Pillars of Eternity, and uh, we'll make some progress of that. I do need to play The Division this weekend, though, to catch up on whatever this week thing was. So anyways, uh, I thanks everyone again for stopping by. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. And what does the flame reveal? 
I'm on the trail.